today I have a little chit chat video for you guys. This one is talking about my low buy last year, how I did, and also just some things about my channel that I wanted to update you guys on and just chit chat with you guys. So if you're down for that, I don't know if this is going to be a short video, long video. We shall see. You might want to get some popcorn. I don't know. First things first, I did amazing on my low buy last year. I was somebody who would make rouge every year, would spend sometimes thousands of dollars in a year, which is insane. And this year when I summed it up, I was so proud of myself. This year I spent, and I know this might seem a lot to some people, even so, but this year in total I spent $488.91 on makeup from my own money. And then I did kind of win some uh, makeup competitions um, and so I did have some gift cards from that. I also spent some of my Ulta points which I had thousands of thousands of Ulta points accumulated. So some of the hauls that you guys saw were those um, purchases and I did say like hey I use my Ulta points or I use gift cards to buy this so not everything came out of my pocket. So from my pocket $488 which I feel is amazing. I'm not to the point where I want to be yet, but I feel like I have come such a long way. I went from being a review channel from buying, 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 consuming, consuming, consuming. And back then you would be able to keep up with the launches, but nowadays there's just way too many launches and I don't want to review every single product, not every product. Um, is something that is good for my skin type or is something that is something that I, I really love. And now I have been very, very selective as to what I buy. A lot of times, one of my biggest tip is to kind of let the FOMO go away. Uh, for example, when ColourPop recently launched the Muppets collection, I am an 80s, 90s baby. I live for packaging. I love when something's a cute packaging and it's done super cute. And at first when they announced it, I was like, oh my God, I really want it. I love the Muppets. I grew up watching the Muppets. But then, you know, I kind of let it simmer in me. I kind of just like, you know, let it, let that whole like vibe of, oh my God, it's launched in two days I let that go away because it's really rare for collections to sell out now people I feel like are being more considerate about what they're buying brands are launching way too many collections and so I feel like now you have more time to kind of simmer on a collection and a lot of times these collections go on sale right now ColourPop even has that Muppet whole collection for like half off and it's because people aren't buying, I feel like the majority of people aren't buying collections the way they used to. You're starting to realize like, how many freaking palettes can I own, right? Uh, and I feel like I've been in that journey for the last five years. And so I have become more aware of what I'm buying. I wanna be more cautious of what I'm buying and also going through my collection continuously and decluttering and also keeping time, like track of like dates and when I got stuff like the time period that I have something. So I feel like I did really, really great on my low buy. I know $488 is a lot of money anyway, but I really want to bring that down to like half. That's my goal this year. I don't know if that's going to be doable or not because last year um, I probably spent a little bit more than this $500 basically. I probably spent close to like $700 with all the gift cards and points and all that jazz. I probably spent way more. So um, I want to kind of either stay at this $488 or be like way lower than it. So fingers crossed that I'm going to do it this year. I really, really, really want to overthink a lot of the purchases that I'm making. Is this something that I need? Um, and if I get something new, kind of go through my collection. Hey, what's old here? What can I move out? Uh, what can I declutter from here? Also with brushes, 
um, you know, once it starts uh, not performing as well, be cautious of like taking them out of my collection, which is something that sometimes I hold on to stuff longer than I should. And that's something that I really want to not do this year. I really want to, hey, this formula is not working for me. Let me declutter it. Uh, so those are some of my goals as far as like low buy and also for decluttering. So I feel like I did really good. Let me know how you guys did on your low buy last year or if you did a no buy. I do receive PR and that's one of the reasons that in my PR sometimes I tell you guys like hey I'm not gonna open this I am going to give it forward it's a color that I already have or it's like I have way too many of these open right now because I don't want to be wasteful I really want to be uh, cautious of what I'm using be conscious Conscious, why can't I never get those two words right? Like what the hell, conscious and cautious. Cautious is when you're scared, like when you're mm, of something and then conscience, Cosh, consh. conscience. Okay, I am saying it right because dictionary, conscience. it's conscience. So I am, <laughs> I just had to look it up because it was annoying me. I just want to be conscious of what I'm using, make sure that I like the formula, and if I don't, get rid of it in my collection. Also, when something comes out, you know, be, you know, aware and and really think about like, am I gonna use this? Do I really need like 30 highlighters that are gold? You know, things like that before I make a purchase. And I also like just feel like there's a lot of collections that if you look through your collection, you own a lot of things that are very similar to that. And I did do a like anti hauls for a little bit there or what I'm not buying. Let me know if you guys want me to try to get those videos back up and rolling. There's just so many things that launch that it's so hard to keep up with those videos because that's how many things launch constantly, which is insane. Like how fast the beauty community like products are just like turnover. And it's really sad because a lot of times I want to do reviews or like even mini reviews for you guys and it's really hard to keep up with what's what I can do reviews on. And I have just literally one of the things that I wanted to tell you guys is that I'm just going to be like, you know what, screw it. I am going to do reviews on products I already own, products that I have here in my collection and maybe that review will be useful to somebody, you know. Um, like for example, I have the About Face Shadow Fix. I was thinking of doing like shorts like the one minute videos on these products like this let me know would you guys like those kinds of like short one minute reviews or would you want like a YouTube video like three to five minute review on a product um, so those are videos that I will be starting to do those are the kind of reviews that I want to do is just short concise like this is what works for me this is how i use it this is what i like about it kind of reviews whether it be one minute or three to five minutes i would love to have your feedback down below or i'll probably do a poll over on the community tab another thing that i really wanted to do are like short videos of like my favorites my fails uh swatch videos of like products that i have or get um you guys have really liked like my little get ready with me reels um or shorts here on youtube and a lot of the nail videos that I've done. So I do a lot of like press-ons and stuff like that. And you guys really enjoy me sharing like my new Manny every time I do them. So I will continue doing those. Um, as far as like my long videos, like my regular YouTube videos, I wanted to start a series and it's called back to makeup so I'm hoping that you guys enjoy this series back to makeup is just exactly that it's back to makeup I miss like old school YouTube just talking and enjoying makeup and like really using it and that's something that I want to do I don't know if this is gonna be successful or not I don't know if you guys are gonna like the videos I started off today filming my first back to makeup and this is on the new strawberry shortcake it's kind of like a mini review get ready with me video just using the products 
But aside from using new products, I also want to go through my collection. I went ahead and made a list of every single palette that I own and whether it's going to be over on my Instagram or shorts or here, I really want to start using as many palettes as I can, like really get back to the makeup itself, like using the products. And so I really want to do these back to makeup kind of like get ready with me chit chat videos where I just talk about the products themselves. And if you guys have any, you know, request of a palette or something that I already own, you can leave it down below. I own 185 palettes right now, okay? 185 palettes for these two eyelids, okay? So it's really, really, um, excessive obviously and so i have a little spinning wheel where i put all my palettes and that is one of my goals this year is to try to use as many of them as possible and you guys can do this too the app that i downloaded thanks to my friend julio shout out to julio um is the what is it called it's called daily decision uh, this is for i don't know if android has this but on my apple it's called daily decision and i put 185 i put all of my palettes you can make a list and that's what i did is that i made a list of all of my palettes um, a lot of them I just like, for example, if it's ColourPop, I just put CP for ColourPop. And you can put this into this, um, you know, like this uh, spinner thing. And there's different ones that there's like, you can do like um, the names going downwards or a wheel. I have so many that it's hard for the wheel to actually like look decent. But you can actually put it on this non-repeating mode. And that's what I plan to do is do like a non-repeating mode. So for example, if I spin and it gives me the palette, that's the palette that I'm going to go searching for in my collection. And that's the palette that I'm going to use that day and kind of really get back to using um, old school palettes and especially with this be able to go through my collection and grab palettes that I don't really like grab right away so for example this is the Tarte Pro remix I would use that palette kind of see if I like the look if I don't like the look I, I might like use it again one more time and if I still don't like the look declutter it you know what I mean um, so that is my goal this year is to use as many of these and it actually lets you keep track of each spin So I'm going to see how many in total I can do this year How many palettes I am going to use through this year, but I have 185 so um, I might declutter some of those and you will see that in a declutter video But I thought that that was a really great idea If you're looking for a way of like really going through your collection using your palettes and like not repeating You know certain ones multiple times and like I said if I'm unsure of the formulation um, If I love it, I know I'm gonna keep it But if I'm unsure of the formulation I might use it more than once that week and then decide whether I'm gonna keep it or not So I thought that that was a great idea if you guys are looking for a way of like really going through your collection you can make various ones of these so you could actually like uh, make different ones like if you wanted this I'm just making one for makeup palettes but if you have like a lot of bronzers a lot of highlighters you can make different wheels so um, if you go to all wheels you can make all the wheels that you want so you can make one for your highlighter for your bronzer like etc etc for me the thing that I feel like I don't use enough are my makeup palettes I have most of my other stuff is reduced enough where I can gravitate through them but my makeup palettes are the worst for me to actually like grab out and use different ones so if you're looking for a good way to do that I feel like this is a great app and there's probably other ones out there like different spinning wheels or randomized ones but I really like that and I like the option of like not repeating stuff so that way you know you're not going to constantly like get the same one you'll get a different one each time that app is going to be one of my strategies for using my palettes and trying to get the most out of my palettes this year I know I will never literally like pan a palette because it's almost impossible with so many palettes that I own uh, and you know it just kind of is what it is is right now but what I want to do is kind of just get the most of actually like using them not feeling like they're just sitting there and I haven't touched them all year 
Another thing is uh, you will see Project Panning. I do have a Project Pan this year for 2023. It is a uh, rolling Project Pan, so those videos will be happening this year. Also, empties. I will continue doing my empties. I love sharing my empties with you guys. If you don't know what empties is, it's a basically talking about trash video where I kind of give you guys a mini review and tell you guys like um, a lot of times if I'm going to repurchase or not. I will continuously do declutter videos as well. I want to do like ranking videos, whether it be of certain products, uh, palettes, etc. I really want to rank different ones or do re mini reviews on certain things. And um, yeah, and the other thing that I thought about was doing like one brand tutorials. I don't know if that's still a thing, but if you have any other suggestions, leave them down below. I do like write down everything in my little notebook. I also brainstorm a lot. So I'm hoping that you guys really enjoy the back to makeup um, playlist and kind of like videos that I'm going to be putting out. It'll probably, I don't know if I'm going to put back to makeup in the beginning or at the end. So I might put like um, Norvina volume three back to makeup, you know, or vice versa. I'm not sure, but I really hope that you guys enjoy that because I really want you know, I feel like the makeup community is having a shift. I've seen more project panning. I've seen more declutter videos. I feel like people are getting to the point that, yeah, this is wasteful. Yeah, we need to like really enjoy what we have. And I'm not knocking on review channels. Like there's certain people that I watch for reviews all the time, um, like Morgan Turner, um, um, I don't know. I can't think of anyone else from the top of my head, but I, there's quite a few reviews. There's like Sophie. There's a, quite a few channels that I watch exclusively for reviews, but I also have been really into like project panners like me who want to use what they have, appreciate what they have. I also follow people like that on Instagram and that's kind of where my mind is like Paul Paulina. She's from Sweden. I love her Instagram and she's one of my main inspirations from like for getting into like posts like that on Instagram is because I really want to appreciate what I have and not just keep like hoarding products, which is basically what a lot of us us have become if we're honest with ourselves is we become like makeup hoarders where it's like you get a palette oh my god this is a new collection yes I love it I used it once maybe twice pop it into my collection not think about it again why because now the blueberry palette come came out and now that's the newest thing you know what I mean like it's just this mindset that we've gotten into and then when you look back you're like holy crap i spent i don't know 30 50 dollars on a palette that i used three times and it's been sitting in my collection for the last five years so that's something that it's just a mind shift that I've done for myself. If you're on that journey, I'd love for you to subscribe and be on this journey together. I know this isn't for everyone. I know there's people who still want to, you know, buy everything that comes out and that's okay. You know, each person to each their own. You know what I mean? Like I'm not someone to judge anybody because, you know, there's, I've been in that position where I used to buy every single little thing that would come out. So I just wanted to kind of share with you guys, well, this is the direction of my channel. A lot of you guys have been seeing it since um, probably the last five years that my channel has evolved and changed very drastically. I've also, like when I started my channel, I was 28. I'm 40 now, which is crazy. But I was like 28 going on 29 um, when I started my channel and now I just turned 40 and October and so obviously life like those that whole thing like there's so many changes in your life that occur and your priorities change what you love change makeup is still a love for me it's still a hobby that I enjoy I love doing YouTube I love doing content for you guys I don't make like a huge ton of money from this I do it because I I love to do it it's like my hobby uh, but at the same time like I also want to be super aware of 
where I'm putting my money. And as somebody who's a mom now and also a wife, there are priorities that we want to do like just personally, like me and my husband, we want to be debt free. We want to travel a lot with my son. And so um, obviously those take priority to make up. <laughs> <laughs> compared to like maybe when me and my husband had just bought our house you know we could splurge on a lot of things and we were okay with that and it's not that I can't splurge now it's that I don't want to I don't want to splurge because I just feel like it's being wasteful and I'm not getting any like real use for certain products and I want to get back to loving the makeup using the makeup and kind of sharing that with you guys I just rambled on forever in here, but hopefully you guys know where I'm coming from. I hope that you guys really like these ideas that I'm throwing at you and hopefully you guys will like this new series that I'm going to do and that kind of content and I'm always up for listening to any suggestions you have and I just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. I know I've been doing this for so long. I'm not like a huge YouTuber. I've grown super slow and <laughs> I'm okay with that. This is just something that I, I love. Like it's a passion of mine that I do. So thank you guys for those who have stuck around this whole time or if you're new here. Um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you're new and want to join my little YouTube fam, hit that red button. I also have my social media down below uh, where I share a lot of the same videos. Like a lot of the shorts that I do, I share over on TikTok and on Instagram. But also if you're looking for like flat lays, like project pan flat lays and makeup of the days, I do those over on Instagram and I don't share that over here. So um, that's something to look forward to if you're looking for that. Anyways, I've blabbed on and rambled enough. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.